If we move fast, we can catch the next huge move towards the upside in the Avalanche ecosystem. In this video, I'm going to talk about four small cap altcoins on the Avalanche ecosystem that look extremely promising. If you caught my video last month on the Solana ecosystem, then you'll be up an average of three or four X on the projects I talked about then. This is not one to miss. Hit the like button and let's get into it. Guys. Now, guys, last month I made this video about the Solana ecosystem and coins that were on the Solana ecosystem that would probably do well. And the reason we anticipated this was that Solana was building in terms of total value locked. It was also doing deals all over the shop with Visa, Shopify, and everyone else. And subsequently, we've seen a massive explosion in the Solana price recently. And some of the projects I talked about in that video have pretty much followed exactly along the lines with Solana. This is Orca, this is Solend, and this is Maradade. And you can see that all of these followed exactly along in line with Solana. Now, as we look into this AVAX chart, we'll see that we have already been seeing some good upside, but in fact, today we're getting a good pullback, so we could potentially see some good entries. But bearing in mind, the Avalanche ecosystem is running a little bit behind that of Solana's right now. So we can anticipate that something very similar will be happening in this ecosystem to what happened in the Solana ecosystem. Now I say anticipate because this looks like a good opportunity. So it's up to you to understand what I'm talking about. So as we see AVAX running into some strength, I think we could see even before the end of this year, if Bitcoin continues on this upwards trajectory, a 70 to 80% move for Avalanche. That's very, very positive indeed, but it's the ecosystem where I think we're going to see more excitement. Now, obviously in this video, I'm going to tell you a few Avalanche ecosystem coins, which I am paying attention to right this second. But also, if you want to find more, just go to CoinGecko uh, and then search the categories. And here you can see you can just type in Avalanche, then you can just do Command F and then just type in Avalanche and you can see here Avalanche Ecosystem. There's obviously a lot of others as well. And then you can come down through and you can find a few different movers and shakers in this whole part. And you can see some of them are gaining really aggressively. One of them up 148% in the last 24 hours. But what's useful today of all day <clears throat> is that Avalanche is down around 3.6%, which means we could be getting a little bit of a pullback and that sets us up perfectly for some entries. Now, when we look at this ecosystem, we want to start looking at where some of this money is flowing in that's bringing up that total value locked on Avalanche. As that total value lock starts to increase, which we can see happening right here, you're going to see the whole ecosystem having more liquidity and that is a very positive thing. Now, the first project we're going to talk about, and I don't want you to just go and dive in and buy these projects before we've talked about them because it's really important is called pangolin now pangolin is a decentralized exchange now you may have realized if you're in the uk or the us or other parts of the world that centralized exchanges are becoming more and more difficult to use all the time way more restrictions and all that stuff which is obviously a little bit problematic therefore the dex and the rise of the decentralized exchange is clearly taking place right now. We've seen DYDX making positive moves over on the Cosmos ecosystem and now a few others. Pangolin is really starting to catch people's attention. It basically aims to give you the best prices, prevent slippage and all that. But what I've noticed is while Avalanche is waking up, Pangolin is also waking up. So if Avalanche does another 68%, then you would anticipate the Pangolin's probably gonna have a pretty good run as well. And you can see it's backed by some good partners. Come down below and find out a little bit more about this. Now, obviously I've done some research on this and we shouldn't really be diving in with too much because these are very small cap coins. Now coming across to Pangolin, you can see it's available on Coinbase and everything else. Many people are like, where do I buy these coins and this coin and that coin? Go to coinmarketcap.com, scroll down below and where it says market here, for example, Pangolin. Okay, you can go find where you can buy it. And now you can do it for yourself, which is hopefully going to improve your day. Now you can see over on the left hand side, market cap for Pangolin up 175%. This has been growing very quickly, but the market cap sat at 18 million. Now, in terms of circulating supply, it's actually damn good. It's really high for a coin of this size, that's this new Avalanche ecosystem. Okay. Now we're talking. So what do we want to do? We want to come across to the price chart and you will be like, damn, I wish you made this video yesterday. And I think the same because I wish I'd kind of woken up to this and paid attention more because, oh my days, that is a big couple of candles, wouldn't you say? In the last two days, we actually saw a push 455%. And I know you're like, oh, but you always tell me not to buy the big candles. You're right. And I stand by that. But this is a daily candle and actually from that top we're now down 31 percent we can jump out to the four hour and i want you to kind of consider this chart this chart has been asleep you know a long time not really been doing anything all year we've had sort of a launch 
since like October last year, we've just been sort of slipping and sliding lower and lower and lower. Remember that circulating supply is high. The Avalanche ecosystem's picking up. Cash flow flowing in. Tiny market cap. 18 million for a DEX. Here's another decentralized exchange called Uniswap. You've probably heard of with a $3.1 billion market cap. And that's a long way from its all-time high. So can we anticipate good moves in this? Guys, in my opinion, I think we can. But like we said, we don't necessarily want to dive into massive candles like this. So this is how you can FOMO into a coin like this. Now, guys, this comes with a massive warning. This coin is up a lot. If you go and buy it right now and it pulls back on you, 50%, is more than possible, right? Because if suddenly Bitcoin falls and we suddenly have a bit of a quiet time, then you could get a fall like this and it would be very quick before it gets down. Now, depending on when you actually see this, you can see that we have had already a little bit of a pullback. Once the momentum builds like this, sometimes we don't have a huge amount of time. So we can drop down to the one hour time frame. Once you get this sort of pullback into this area where this first buy comes from, you can see this one big candle, and maybe we could call this a buy zone. And if we must FOMO in, this is maybe an opportunity to do it. But guys, and I wouldn't suggest this normally because it's a tiny market cap, but literally you can see it already sort of starting to spring back up off that point. If it carries on further and you get back up into this zone by the time this video is live, maybe just put it on your watch list and, you know, have a quiet one for a while and then see whether or not you want to come back to it. Now, given where the Pangolin price is right this second, and it's at around $18 million market cap, you can see the work Uniswap's worth 30 times more than that right now in the current, like just coming out of a bear market. And Uniswap's probably going to do 10 plus X. Could Pangolin do 100, maybe a 200 X? I don't see why not. There's obviously good opportunity here and you can see it's starting to capture the attention, but you have to move fast, but proceed with caution. Okay, if you're going to lose money in this, I have warned you enough. It's not my problem anymore. Now on to the next, another decentralized exchange, Trader Joe. Do you see a theme here? Decentralized exchanges are starting to grow as centralized exchanges become more annoying and more difficult to use. And also, as people become more educated and understand how to use things like DEXs, decentralized exchanges, they will do so more because they're quicker, easier, cheaper often, and you know, and actually not as scary as they might seem initially. Here you can see you can do trading, pools, staking, blah, blah, blah. Total value locks and stuff is building on this platform all the time, which is a positive thing. And that's also impacting the Avalanche ecosystem. If we come across, you can see the market cap sat at 133 million, approximately like 9x bigger than Pangolin, okay? So it's not gonna necessarily see the astronomical upside, but it is one that's capturing the attention of more people uh, more regularly. And as we look again on the daily, you can see that Joe has been rallying quite hard, but nowhere near as hard as Pangolin's been rallying. Now, interestingly, I think that up to this upside point here, you can see an 84% move. That could happen very quickly in what we're seeing. And again, could you see a 20, 30, maybe even 50x from something like Trader Joe in the future? I, I think so. It's starting to gain more and more influence all the time. People are starting to get excited by it. It's only going to go from strength to strength in the future if Avalanche continues to rally. And if you were a betting man or a gambling man like myself, I might be saying that I would take 5 or 10% of my portfolio right now and maybe split it between these projects that I'm talking about. And no, I'm not saying you do that. Now, if you come over to Twitter, make sure you give me a follow. I'll leave a link down below, guys, because I'm doing a giveaway for hitting 50,000 subscribers. I thank you for supporting me. In fact, we hit like 52,000 because in the last few days, things have been exploding. But every day, I'm basically covering a different crypto that I'm talking about in good depth. And you can see here, in fact, I covered Avalanche. And as you look into Avalanche, we have had a little bit of a dip in followers, but the followers in general are starting to pick up again. And that's very, very key for us, okay? Because it means that the ecosystem's waking up, more people are flooding into the space, it's gonna push prices higher for us. Now, Benchy brings me on to the next one, okay? This is a particular part of the Avalanche ecosystem, which is also gonna see strength, not just the Avalanche ecosystem, but in general. I think we're gonna see a big growth in DEXs, decentralized exchanges. We're gonna see a big growth in gaming, potentially in AI, and also in terms of lending protocols, liquid staking derivatives or LSDs. And there's a big reason for that, okay? Lending, borrowing, and liquid staking. Liquid staking is basically like staking your coins away to earn rewards, but also then having the use of those coins for different other utilities. It means that you can basically save money while still using it for other things. Wouldn't that be amazing? The DeFi and Web3 protocol for all, currently $310 million locked, pretty big, 80,000 users. You can see that this is a fairly well established platform in terms of its user base and everything like that. But what's most exciting about the fact that those numbers are very, very high is that the market cap sat at nearly $31 million in terms of circulating supply, just over half, not ideal, but given the market cap, this looks pretty positive in my opinion. 
And if we go and look at this over on trading view, you can see that there is been a bit of growth recently again we're having a nice pullback in line with sort of avalanche pulling back so this might give us a good opportunity to be getting in now these spikes towards the upside like this indicate a bit of a pullback is on the cards and then what we start to see is this and if you're not sure here's a kind of good rule of thumb you see this big candle here look for the 50 percent line of that particular move which you can use this tool and you see the little blue bit in the middle and then that would be potentially where I might look to buy because if I buy there and I get back to those highs I'm then up 28% now I might see a good bit more pullback who knows but at some point you've got to pull the trigger and get in and to be honest if you haven't already been in lots of crypto and lots of projects more recently then you are going to try and FOMO in I know that so I'm just going to try and help you to do it a little bit more responsibly than a lot of other people will do so in terms of liquid staking there is billions of dollars locked away in traditional or more traditional crypto staking pools i think that once more of that starts to move into like the liquid staking derivatives platforms you're going to see much more growth and ben benchy binky whatever you want to call it currently sat at 30 million would it be reasonable to say that this could go to 300 million or beyond absolutely guys i think a wall of money is about to arrive into crypto and this is probably one of your last chances to be fomoing into such coins now last but not least i want to bring you a real outsider a real potential for huge huge risk but also potentially for massive gains so take this one with a pinch of salt and you know up to you if you want to have a pop at it but yield yak great name has a market cap of 4.4 million dollars 100 percent circulating supply but this is self-announcing you know has not verified according to coin market cap so if you come across projects like this and you have not verified them there's always a risk that they might not be legit so what do we do you can come across to dexcheck.ai okay free tool although there is an upgraded one but this is just a free bit i just typed in yak yak token uh, and then you can come down below and you can come and check a few of these different bits and pieces out ownership renounced you know it gives you a little warning about that but the rest of the other bits and pieces look fairly reasonable okay not honeypot you can check all the different things here okay make sure it's not mintable like they can't just print loads of new tokens and all that other stuff okay that's a really handy thing to be aware of and if we come back to yield yak you can see currently the price has been rallying pretty hard it's currently 468 dollars okay and now one thing i want to say about that lots of people were like oh that's too expensive for me or whatever guys a bitcoin is like thirty-seven thousand dollars, and even if you've got a hundred dollars it's not too expensive for you because you can buy a portion of it you don't have to buy the whole damn thing okay this is not expensive. It's a $4 million market cap coin. It's bloody tiny, okay? But it's interesting because it's auto compounding pools, make your life easier. Total value lock currently $22.5 million. And, you know, Yak staked. People are staking loads of the tokens as well. So for me personally, I might put in a couple of hundred bucks, stake it, forget about it for a year, see what happens. Maybe I get lucky, maybe I lose everything. But you have to have that attitude. If you can't afford to do it with $200, then you do it with $20. If you can't afford to do it with $20, then stay away from coins like this altogether because they're much riskier. Now, of course, I'm not saying you just go and foam into all these. You can go and find out lots more information. You can see they've got the Telegrams, they've got the Discords and Twitters and all that good stuff. You can go across to Twitter. You can find out how many followers they got. Are they growing? 25,000 plus followers is pretty good considering it's such a small early doors project. This could be one to pay attention to. I am actually quite interested in this particular one. And then like identify like the size of the Twitter following and all that compared with like the market cap, $4 million market cap. If they've got like 50,000 followers on Twitter, that's a pretty good thing, okay? Because maybe you can see a good impact on the price if more people start to enter the space. Now, all of the coins I've talked about today may well not be available on the likes of Coinbase or Binance or something else because those tend to be big exchanges but that doesn't mean anything to us okay because Coinbase and everything is super expensive to use and if you're limiting yourself to use that then you really need to have a word with yourself okay because if you've made more than one trade in crypto you're now experienced enough to use a better exchange or at least a much cheaper exchange like Mexi. link down below in the description zero percent spot maker take a fee zero percent futures fees okay that means you can trade for absolutely free changing ethereum into usdt is going to cost you nothing okay or buying any of these coins i talked about today nothing it's important you do this guys because you can save loads and loads of money over time it's also non-kyc know your customer which means you can do things on the hush hush if you so want and i get it you're like oh, i'm a u.s citizen i don't have access to this well, luckily, I've got you covered for that as well. If you use NordVPN, link down below in the description, you'll get four months for free, 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can just cash that. Then you can get your money back, okay? But after that, it's going to cost you like the price of a cup of coffee. 
you can see here it says my status is protected. That's because I'm using a NordVPN, which allows me to change locations. If I'm in a country where I can't use that website because I'm limited because of my government, whatever, I can put myself into another country where I can use it. All I do is click on this button, and then you can see I have all the choices of all the different countries. Currently, I'm in Belgium, but actually I'm not. You can just see I'm currently connected in Brussels. Why am I doing that? Fancy to change of scene do something different but actually no just gives me better access not only is it important to be able to access different exchanges but it's going to protect you by double encrypting your network it means no one can spy on you steal your passwords and eventually steal your crypto this is a great way to do it and as well as that you can use it to access netflix in different countries which gives you loads of different things and also if you like to travel you can access things like skyscanner website so that you can get cheaper flights because if you're trying to book a flight from let's say belgium to spain it's cheaper if i appear to be in belgium than if i'm in the uk there's another little life hack for you guys so if you're not already subscribed and you want better life hacks and more of them then subscribe hit the like button see you tomorrow Bye bye